Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this 100 grams of Pima cotton in decay weight and I'm going to be dyeing it in this empty plastic bottle with some ice. Now the colours that I've chosen to dye with today are Wisteria, Sweet Pea and Sea Glass. And these are all fibre reactive dyes and you can only dye um, cotton with fibre reactive. You can't dye it with acid dyes. I've got my mask on, I've got my gloves on. I'm going to start with uh, Sweet Pea, I think. And what I'm going to do is just oops, put a little bit of cotton in there. Oh, there's a little bit of um, cotton floss as well. And <laughs> that's this has been soaking in soda ash, and there must have been that little bit of cotton floss still in my soda ash from when I last dyed cotton. <laughs> I might as well chuck that in as well. So this is sweet pea. I'm just gonna. Put some in here. Oops, that's quite a lot there. And on the other side. Yeah. Unfortunately, acid dyes won't dye plant based fibres like cotton. They'll dye animal fibres, but not cotton. Okay. It's probably enough sweet pea. This is quite a pale colour, so I'm being very generous. With that, let's wipe off the spoon, shut that in the sink, and next up I'll go with sea glass. Now, this is all dedicated dye equipment. I don't use any of this for food. A little bit of rub this in and in sea glass. I think I have dyed this sort of method before. There we go. I think that's nice and that's something else. Again, wipe that off. Put that and put it on. Oops. Okay. Into wisteria. I don't think I've actually died with this one before, other than just swatching. So, and this is very, very pale, so I'm going to be generous with this one. This is a pale colour, but I still want to see it, so I'm just going to dump quite a lot of this on here. There we go. Now, I have dyed in a, an empty bottle like this before, but last time I took the bottom off, or the top, and let the, let the water drip down and dyed some more yarn underneath but I'm not going to do that this time I'm going to just see how it goes maybe I'll, I'll take the, the lid off and let it drip down later I don't know but for now I am going to add my oh, I haven't pressed this down uh, I'm going to let the ice and water do that I'm going to fill it up tiny bit of cotton floss. This has been soaking in soda ash for weeks and weeks. So chuck that in there with the ice. Let's see what that ends up dying as well. Now I've got this now because this is cotton it doesn't need heat to set it, it just needs time. So I'm just gonna let the ice melt and I'm gonna keep topping it up because I think I want uh, I, I certainly want the the yarn to be covered in water. I'm just going to put this out of the way, keep an eye on it and just let it just let it melt and see what happens over the next next couple of days. 24 hours later and look at this colour. I love it. I It's going to take all my willpower not to play with this and mess it around and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and see how it looks. Okay, let's have a look at this. Normally I would save the dye in the water, but as this is fibre reactive, uh, the dye has already reacted with the 
with the cotton it, it starts reacting as soon as it hits water and so anything that's sort of left over is not really any good it's not going to do anything but this is stunning now there was a bit of embroidery cloth in here uh oh there it is ah that's that's a nice that's a nice pale color that's it was sitting on top of the wisteria i think so give this a nice rinse i will wash this little bit separately and a little bit of washing up liquid um, and there will be bleeding as you can see there is a bit of bleeding this has been sitting in uh just in that dye water but nothing too bad and this is beautiful so i'm just going to keep washing this through uh, oh i forgot to mention it's been sitting there for two days now so plenty of time for the dye and the the cotton to the dye to bind to the cotton this oh this looks good yeah you can see already starting to run clear which is great so i'm going to just rinse this through a few more times then i can hang it out to dry and here is our finished yarn you can still see the three separate dyes that i used so we've got the wisteria here this lovely lovely light purple we've got the sea glass here and we've still got lots of sweet pea down here uh, and it has all broken. Every single die has broken. Uh, the wisteria, not quite so much. I think some of that might be some sweet pea there, but there are some little speckles of pinks and blues within this, which is beautiful. And then we come to the sea glass, and this is definitely the most dramatic. Uh, we've got these gorgeous dark green spots, but then we've got lots of yellow specks and some blue specks and just the gorgeous sea, green, sea glass colour there as well and then again coming into uh, the sweet pea again you can see how this has broken we've got some lovely little speckles here of pinks and blues and all together I think this these these three colours work really well together I think they look gorgeous and then we've got the tiny little bit of um, floss that I just chucked in on top of the wisteria. There's not, it hasn't picked up much colour. There are some tiny little specks on it. You can see there's some hints of green and that. I think that just came, came from the rest of the dye. I think I'll over dye that again with something, but I don't know what. But all in all, this has worked out so much better than I could have hoped. And I think these three colours have worked really well together and I'll definitely be, be using this colour combination again. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. I produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday and it's published between about 6 and 8pm UK time or here on my YouTube channel. And I do like to experiment with different things, uh, different fibre types, different dyes, different techniques. Uh, so there should always be something different to watch. Thank you so much for watching.